So I have this long and narrow cabinet and the shelves are deep so I thought this would be a good idea to put all my pots, my pans and all of the molds that I use for baking. This is how the cabinet looks like inside. On the top it has three shelves and on the bottom it also has three shelves and this cabinet is divided into two separate sections. The first thing that you need to do is go through all of your pots and pans and baking trays making sure that things are not damaged. Like you could see this one is damaged, it's already chipping and uh, this is not healthy anymore to be cooking on this or baking on top of these things. So I am going to be throwing these ones away. Just make sure that you discard anything that you see that is damaged. As you could see here, these are all my pots, my pans and all of my baking molds and trays and this is all the stuff that I am going to be putting inside of that narrow cabinet. First I'm gonna start with the first three shelves of the bottom cabinet. I'm gonna start putting my pots and pans inside. This here is the second section of the cabinet which is the upper part. In here I will be storing all of my baking molds, I'll also be storing my frying pans and I will be storing the lids for the frying pans. This is how the first shelves looks in the upper cabinet and this is the second shelf of the upper cabinet and this is the third shelf of the upper cabinet. A quick look, this is how the whole entire upper cabinet looks like. Now this is the first shelf of the bottom cabinet, this is the second shelf of the bottom cabinet and this is the third shelf of the bottom cabinet. This is how the bottom cabinet looks like. Now this is the door of the upper cabinet and I have utilized every single inch of space that I have. I have hung my colanders and the silicone baking mat. I hope you have enjoyed this video and if you have please go ahead give it a thumbs up and if you have not subscribed to this channel please go ahead and do it now and thanks for watching. Bye!